there, I just out here from Canadian Pixie Test and we're hanging out in Epcot into the International Gateway today at the Festival of the Arts. We're gonna play a little game because what else do we have to do on our last day of our trip? So we headed over to the Masterpiece Kitchen um, in Canada and we grabbed a lovely pina cotta rose. Uh, and if you grab this lovely passport, um, and they had some at some of the kitchen booths, and you flip to the very back, you can collect stamps and do a little um, wonderful walk through a uh, colorful cuisine. So you go to the different uh, booths along the path and collect stamps for the treats that you collect along the way. Some of these are savory and some are sweet. Uh, and then at the end, you head over to the showcase plaza and you get a complimentary culinary chart. I really kind of feel bad biting into it, but let's go ahead and try it. Oh my goodness. It's like chocolate on the outside. Ooh. It's breaking apart. We're gonna get a little bit of everything. with chorizo, roasted red pepper coulee, and a parmesan crisp. All right. And you'll be happy to know that my husband has been told me, taught me the importance of a pocket fork. So we are not getting a new fork each and every time we try a new treat. We just pull it out of our back pocket. It comes in very handy. So let's see. Oh, I'm gonna have to break it. My crisp is really hard. I'm gonna break a little piece off so I can try it. I feel like I'm making a complete mess. Crisp, a little salsa, everything. Mm. It's lovely. Beautiful combination of flavors. Uh, again, it's a really light dish. It's not very heavy. Uh, the taste of it all together is a beautiful combination. Um, it's really good. Okay, we are ready for round three. We've got our third step in our book. We have just visited Germany at the Cuisine Classic to grab our seared pork vina. So this one is a fish uh, seared and then braised with ratatouille and lemon thyme beurre blanc, which sounds incredibly fancy. Uh, <laughs> let's see, got my pocket board. I am not a big fish fan, I will totally admit it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try a little piece over here. And I keep on regretting that I have not grabbed a knife yet. This one might require a knife. I'm gonna have to use my fingers. <laughs> definitely has got like a bit of a crust on it, which is making it incredibly hard to break it up and get a little bit of It's really nice. Like I said, I am not a big fan of fish, so the cameraman is going to have to finish this one. The ratatouille's got a really nice flavor to it. The plum. Their blanc is very light um, and very lovely. The fish is cooked perfectly. Like I said, I am just not a big fish fan. So I'm gonna let the cameraman finish this one off. All right, starting to rain on our parade a little bit here. We're on round four. We've made it up to the front to the showcase plaza. Uh, 
to Pop Eats for our almond frappange cake, which is an almond cake with raspberry and Belgian chocolate in between the layers. I've got to admit, this one's really pretty and I'm gonna feel a little bad destroying it because clearly it took a little time to make, but it looks delicious. It's a really dense cake, but not heavy. Um, it's got a beautiful almond flavor. Uh, and then of course the chocolate and raspberry in between. It is very good. And now I'm gonna get out of the rain and go and eat it under an umbrella someplace. All right, the rain is holding out ever so slightly. We're gonna pray. It just holds on for just a little bit longer. This is our last dish. We got our last stamp so we can go over and redeem our passport for our cookie in a moment. Or I think it's a cookie as we walked past it. I'm not gonna lie, we peeked. Um, this is our deconstructed BLT from the deconstructed dish booth. Uh, it is crispy pork belly, tomato jam, and a soft poached egg. And I'm gonna say it again. I should have grabbed a knife, but I didn't. But I still have my pocket pocket pork. <laughs> so let's hope that this pork belly pulls apart quite easily, and it does. Let's see if I can cut it a little bit in half. <clears throat> All right, so get a little bit of the jam. Ooh, and I broke the yolk. Here we go. It was really good. Um, and bacon is so tender and falling apart. The pork bacon, the pork belly is falling apart. The tomato jam's got a nice tang to it, and the egg is super runny and poached. If you like your eggs nice and uh, juicy, uh, and I believe let's just try. This is a little bit. It's a mustard, like a Dijon mustard on the side, and this one is. Oh, like a pesto mayo, maybe? Let's try that one more time. Yeah, it's like a pesto mayo. It's delicious. Ooh. All right, we did it. We got all of our stamps. We went over to the decadent booth and we redeemed. You can see our stamp even says so it was a cookie. We were good at guessing that one. But you also get a little glass of strawberry nest quick as well. And this a beautiful cookie, which I kind of feel guilty cracking open and eating, but we do have to eat it. We've got to try it. So let's see how easy it is to open. Oh, it is so pretty. Absolutely cute. It's a little sugar cookie. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Super soft. Super yummy. Then I'll even share with the cameraman when I'm done. It was so much fun. Um, as we snacked around, it gave us a little something to do. Um, most of the things that we purchased were about seven dollars. Uh, the almond cake at the last one was only four fifty. So it was a little less expensive. Uh, so it, all in all, yes, it's not the cheapest thing to do, but it was kind of fun to go around, try something different at all the different booths, have a little snack in each of the countries. So much for lunch, that was it. Uh, but yeah, totally fun. Uh, grab a hold of this Daphne Festival Passport. It has got a ton of information in there. Um, I didn't really look at the stuff at the front. It's more about the, uh, art and that that's around some of the merchandise that's up uh they do have family friendly or kid friendly strawberries next to a lot of the items on the different booths which tells you it's kid friendly uh it tells you all the different things that it's available it's got some of the musicians and stuff in here and then of course it's got the colorful cuisine at the back 
um, food, uh, the, sorry, the food and wine, the Epcot International Festival of the Arts runs until February 24th. So know that you can do this without doing it every day. If you're here for an extended visit or you're an annual pass member, you could and come throughout the festival, you could definitely collect the stamp slowly, just remembering to bring back the same book. And then at the end, you could get a stamp. You don't have to do it all in one day, just like we did. All right, that was fun. It's time to go for a nap and head back to Galaxy's Edge tonight. So I am out of here. Remember, spread a little pixie dust everywhere you go. Come on, let's go to the ball. Come on.